Hello everyone, my name is Angelica and welcome to my channel. Texture Canvas are stealing the Pinterest and Instagram main page. It's a great trend of making eye-cutting pieces for your home. I've already created a few modern and abstract looking pieces. Today is the time to add some color and go with the floral theme. Get your tools ready and let's make this stunning 3D art on canvas. For both of my projects, I will be using white 40 x 50 cm canvas. I start with drawing the design with the pencil. For the first one, I'm going with one big flower. For me, it's easier to first draw the design, which I will follow later on. This time to create the texture, I've decided to use plaster of Paris. I used to use all-purpose filler, but I think plaster has much smoother consistency. You can follow the instruction from the packaging, I do it by eye. And instead of painting it later, I'm adding the acrylic paint now to the water and plaster mixture. More you add, the more intense the final result will be. Remember that plaster of Paris dries out quite quick, so I recommend doing small patches at the time. The consistency can't be too runny, but also not too thick, as it will make it harder to work with. I take plastic bag and move my plaster to the inside. I cut the corner off. And now, like decorating the cake with the icing, I cover the lines I've made, creating the edges of petals. Then, using paintbrush, I spread it to the inside. By keeping the edge high, I make more of the 3D effect. With thinner brush, I make small lines to give the petal more realistic look. I want the whole petal to be covered, so with the bigger ones, I have to add extra plaster in the middle. With really big petals, you can make the edge thicker by applying more of the plaster. I sometimes dip the brush in the water and smooth out the surface. If some places were not covered very well with the first go, you can always allow it to dry and then apply another coat. But creating all the texture and design on each petal is much easier to do when the plaster is still wet. As the middle part is so small, it was easy just to paint it instead of making new part of plaster. New canvas and a new design. This time I'm going with roller composition. Again, I start with the sketch. Few different shapes and sizes. I will work with one color at the time. I take small container and mix plaster with water and the chosen color of acrylic paint. This time to apply plaster onto my canvas, I will be using palette knives. 
you can adjust the size of them to the size of the surface you are working on. I start from the edge and then pull the knife. This way the edge is higher than the rest. Okay, so what I did wrong in here is that I should start with the most distant petal. If you follow this rule, you will create more realistic flower picture. Then going more inside, I applied thicker layer on the previous petal. So think which part is the most far away from you and start with it. Try to imagine the real flower. You kind of building up the layers. With smaller parts it's a bit harder but use smaller knife and apply small amount at the time. It's all about creating the layers. Canvas soaks in the water from the plaster, leaving the watermarks around. But don't worry, they will dry out without leaving any stains. Mixing plaster with paint makes the color more dull, but I like it. It's very delicate and pastel tone. You can make leaves with just one pull of the knife. As it would be hard to make such a thin flower stalk with the plaster, I just paint them. But I put thicker amount of paint so it doesn't look so flat. I'm really happy how this texture painting came out. It was such a relaxing process. It is really a great idea of creating more outstanding piece of art. And the Plaza of Paris works so well. Let me know in the comments what do you think about them. If you are more into modern or abstract art, I leave the link to my other texture canvas ideas down below. Don't forget about the like button if you enjoyed today's video and subscribe so you won't miss any of my future uploads. And for now, thank you so much for watching, your support, and I will see you next week.